Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog. My name is Jess, if you're new here. It is Monday today. I am just in the process of cooking some lunch and I figured I'd jump on here and say hello. So this week for me is going to be all about getting back into routine and back on track, essentially. So if you've watched my previous vlog, you'll know that I was trialing out new gyms. So for the last two weeks I've been in the process of trialing out two different gyms to try and figure out which one I like the best and I've decided on one. So while I've been trialing out gyms my routine has been pretty non-existent. Um, I'm normally a very early morning gym person but while you're on the trials you can only go during staffed hours so that hasn't been possible and it's definitely put everything out of whack for me. I just know that what works best for me is rolling out of bed first thing in the morning and getting moving. The longer I leave it in the day, the less likely it is that it's going to happen. Um, so I love getting my workouts done first thing in the morning and then you just feel accomplished for the rest of the day. It puts you in a good mood. Yeah. I just much prefer training in the morning so I have chosen my gym which if you're following along is going to be the smaller quieter one and um, I really hated the large really busy gym that I trialed so I'm going with the smaller one and I signed up this morning so starting from tomorrow I'm getting back into routine now Routine for me looks like getting up at 4am, which I've definitely not been doing lately, and being at the gym by 5, doing my workout, coming home, and then getting outside to do something. Sometimes that's a nice easy jog, sometimes it's a walk, sometimes it's me attempting to rollerblade, or go for a bike ride, or a swim in the ocean, whatever it is. I like to do my workout first thing in the morning at the gym and then follow it up with something outdoors. I just find getting out into the sunshine first thing in the morning is so beneficial. I also really want to work on my mobility and flexibility, which was one of my goals for this year and has been for the last couple of years. And it's just something that doesn't seem to happen because I haven't made it a habit and I haven't made it part of my routine. So I've come to the realization that we're almost halfway through the year and I really have not worked on that at all. It's time to start cracking down on that one and actually making it happen. So on top of just trying to get everything back on track this week I also have my nursing job. Um, where on average I do two to three shifts a week, 12 hour shifts. So this week for me, I'll be working a Wednesday and Thursday 12 hour day shift and then Sunday night shift. So I'll just work my routine around my nursing job, which is what I always do. Um, it's just kind of the only way of doing it for me. Um, so I generally don't work out when I'm doing a 12 hour day shift because that would involve getting up at like 3 in the morning and that's just seems unnecessary especially when I have so many days off that I can easily work out on I might as well make those a rest day as far as I'm concerned on top of that I also have a friend's leaving party on Friday I believe it is so that'll be lovely give me an opportunity to dress up a little bit. Tonight I'm going to make sure I really sit down and plan out my week ahead, the workouts I want to have completed, as well as just getting used to actually planning the workouts myself again. Um, I used to work out in a functional gym where everything was done for you. Um, and while I have worked out for many years just in a standard gym, I'm just a bit out of practice. So I've got to get used to planning what I want to do again. But I'm also quite excited about it because I have the opportunity to work 
on movements that I specifically want to learn. Um, whereas in the functional kind of fitness group class space, you're kind of just stuck doing what the class is doing. And I was just ready for a bit of a change. Anyway, my lunch is almost ready, so I need to prep the rest. I'm just going to have a lovely chicken sandwich for lunch today. so far just doing some editing my weekly vlog needs to go up on Wednesday and so I've got today and tomorrow to get it done because I am working all Wednesday and I'm still a wee way off yet however I'm going to have a break and I am going to fold all this laundry behind me it's all nice and dry it's been outside in the sun and I've just brought it in so Let's get started. of time planning out this week so that's everything from my nursing shifts as well as the workouts I want to do and what days I'm going to do them around my nursing shifts if I've got something organized and planned out in terms of exactly what day I'm doing it I'm much more likely to get it done otherwise I'll get to you know Saturday and I'll realise I still have three gym sessions that I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> and only two days to do it in. I've essentially had two weeks of just sleeping in and relaxing, which, you know, I haven't had that in a very long time. But I've definitely felt the absence of my routine and I just don't feel very productive. The days go so much quicker. Um, if you're only getting out of bed at seven, eight o'clock in the morning, the days just fly by. Whereas when you're up at 4 a.m. and I've done my workouts and I've had a shower and I'm all ready for the day, by 8 a.m., <laughs> it makes a massive difference. So, it's the goal to get back to that. It helps that my next two days at work aren't a night shift because that always throws me off a bit. Um, the fact that I have two day shifts will help to kind of get me back into that routine a bit easier. But still, getting up there early in the morning is going to be a shock to the system, I think. <laughs> to make a satay chicken stir fry with uh, udon noodles. I'm going to make enough for three days uh, because my partner's working nights so I might as well save myself from cooking just for myself three days in a row.
session is all done and now I'm going to grab a protein shake, get changed into some running gear and head out for a run. I was so close to not getting out of bed. I just laid there for a good 20 minutes <laughs> trying to decide if I wanted to get up and actually do what I said I was going to do. So I was running a little bit behind schedule but I did it. I got up well, at 4.20 and went to the gym. So it's the first time I've done that in a couple of weeks. changed wearing shorts with pockets and a more supportive sports bra let's go do this before I decide not to <laughs> for a little walk with my partner before he heads off to work and we have brought some cookies from Bam Bam Bakehouse of course in Mermaid Beach. I've got a Nutella one and a salted caramel. So I'm going to have the Nutella one. Thank you. 
as you would have seen, I went for a walk with my partner on his way to work and we got some cookies for a little treat. And now that he's at work, I have come back home and I really need to knuckle down and get this video edited because I am working a 12 hour shift the next two days. So this is really my only opportunity to actually sit down and edit. I've also just got my period today and I'm feeling a little sorry for myself. But I'm just going to have to push through. So I can get this done. Still drinking my tea. It's a orange and cinnamon tea and it's actually so nice. Anyway, time to get to work. I've been editing for a couple of hours now. I'm feeling a bit peckish so I'm going to heat up the leftovers from last night and just use it as a little bit of a break from editing for a bit. I've still got a way to go. Well, actually I'm up to editing the kind of weekend of that week, but for some reason there's just a lot of footage, so I'm working through it. I also almost fell asleep while editing just then, so I'm going to grab a can of Coke Zero just to perk me up a little bit, you know? My body's definitely struggling with the early morning adjustment. Oh, and for those following along at home uh, with our lack of furniture situation. Still no sofa. It's looking like it's still another month and a half to two months away. So that's great. It's made after you order it so it's kind of expected but still just feels like a long time. We have also just ordered a dining room table and chairs. The chairs will be getting here on Saturday, so we'll have some dining chairs by the end of the week, but the dining table could be up to a month away. But once that's done, essentially all of the kind of needed necessary furniture um we will have we'll have a place to sit and relax we'll have a dining table so we won't have to sit and eat at the breakfast bar for every meal which would be lovely and then everything else from there on is really just the non-essential stuff like i'd love to get a bookshelf i'd love to get a nice big mirror um i want to get like a sofa bed like armchair so essentially it's just a really big comfy reading armchair that pulls out to be a sofa bed yeah. a few little things here and there and eventually of course we'd like to get some artwork and stuff on the wall but that's a way away yet but it'll actually feel like our house is properly furnished you know which will be nice i have literally spent the entire day <laughs> editing that video. Um, it's been very painful. Sometimes I look back at the stuff I've recorded and I'm just like, why? Why did you have to do that? It's so difficult to edit. Anyway, I got it done and I've created the thumbnail and now it is just slowly uploading to YouTube because our Wi-Fi sucks. And now I'm about to run out and pick up my partner from work. The way our schedules are working at the moment, we just don't see each other very often. So any opportunity we can get 
to hang out for a little bit, we're going to take it. Sometimes that's him dropping me off at work. Sometimes it's me dropping him off or picking him up. Whatever we can get, you know, it's a little bit of extra quality time that we wouldn't have otherwise had. So I'm going to go get him and then I'll be off to bed pretty much. Happy Sunday. I woke up this morning and went for a walk. To be honest, the motivation just hasn't happened this week. Um, and I know that was my intention for this week. So that's not great. Um, however, motivation is not always there. And I just need to be a little more disciplined because I have really just gotten off track the last few weeks so that needs to change I got some oak berry for breakfast while I was on my walk and it was lovely 
but really I should have gone for a run and I didn't do that so it's okay lesson learned for the week I'm going to need to be a little more disciplined next week and um, one of the things I promised myself was that going into my wedding which is now only four months away I want to feel like the fittest healthiest version of myself and just feel confident um, I don't feel like I need to look a certain way or anything like that but I want to feel fit and healthy and right now I just know I'm not at my best so I need to get my act together and actually push myself a little bit to do things that I don't necessarily want to do you wouldn't have seen very much for the last few days um, I was working my last two days um, and as a nurse obviously I'm not filming while I'm at work because <laughs> that's just not appropriate for so many reasons and yesterday I had the day off with my partner which was lovely so we really just spent some time together and um, slept in was a little bit lazy but it was just a nice day of rest um, and then in the evening I went out with some friends for one of my work colleagues leaving party and that was so much fun um, but again I'm not about to film around other people because it's my choice to film my life and I don't want to drag other people into <laughs> being on camera and especially because it was with work colleagues um, it just yeah it isn't something I want to film so and now I just need to hang up some washing it's just washing some whites and I'm going to jump in the shower I've just made myself a sandwich for lunch it's just chicken cheese lettuce cucumber and tomato relish I'm currently editing this week's video and I've realized I forgot to show you the dining chairs that we got. I'm actually sitting on one now because we still do not have a sofa <laughs> and we also currently don't have the actual dining table but we got the chairs. This is them here. So we're really trying to keep with the the gray and kind of black theme throughout our apartment and these are really nice and comfy. Um, I have the same style office chair as well as our bar stools are very similar. So yeah, those will be our dining chairs. Now I just actually need a dining table, but it's coming in a few weeks. <laughs>